Welcome to today's edition. Still at the Tapping Nigeria YouTube channel. And I remember Francis Ifeodo Apple. But today, the topic we are going to be looking at is web development. I would like to introduce to you the person that will be taking us, and the person of Mr. Issa Faru, who will be telling us the necessities that we ought to know in web development. But before it comes up, please remember that subscribe button and click on it for you to get notified when we release more videos. Hi guys. My name is Faru from Guatavi Business and Technology Company. Um, Guatavi is an entrepreneur um, solution and um, outlet that is determined to empower team in Africa to get skills that are actually like them from poverty. And you agree with me that one of those skills is technology. In technology, we have different, we have networkers, we have AI guys, we have software engineers, we have different aspects of technology. But today we will narrow it down to software development. What is software development? What do they call software development? Some of us that have a degree, an ND, HND, a diploma in computer science or computer engineering, you, they will tell you computer program a bit of instructions or series of instructions that actually tell the computer system what to do and at the point in time that they do it. It means computer operates like a don't do. It doesn't know what to do until you tell it that at this point in time, please do this then it will do it. An instance is probably your car has a fault. When your car has a fault, the fault is a tire fault. The, the, the car will not automatically know that I need to change the tire. As a human being, like, okay, my tire is flat. When your tire is flat, what is the next thing to do? First check if you have an extra tire. That is what we call pseudo code in computer program. Pseudo code. Pseudo code. The first check, do I have an extra tire? If you have, then you now start to remove the one that is flat, then you replace it. If you don't have, then you first get an extra tire before you, that is what we call studio code in computer programming. Now, you guys might have heard of, um, though, let me narrow it down. You will hear software development is hard, is this, is that. No, it's not hard. The best thing, if you want to grab any skill, you have to be determined, you have to be committed. Um, these guys, we have front end, we have um, back end. This is front end, can call it client side. Like today, when you log on to www.facebook.com, there is a message that popped up. You see something. It asks you to either probably register or log in. When it asks you to register, if you don't have an account already, you register, you input your email address, your password, you can find your password. That is what you can see. The client side, call it the front end. It is written in that HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You understand? Then there are things that, as an end user, you don't see. That's what we call the server side. We call it back end too. You can as well change it to back end. It is back end that will automate what happens in the front end. Like for instance, when you are driving a car, you only know that when you want to move to the right, you turn your wheel to the right. When you want to move to the left, you turn your wheel to the left. What happens, the operation that happens behind the scene, you don't know. That is just an instance of front end and back end. So, I believe this is just an introductory class. Now, let us go through the life cycle of a computer program. Every computer program, just like other things, like agricultural produce, like human life cycle, a computer program too has a life cycle. The life cycle now goes from planning to analysis, then design, implementation, deploy, then you maintain. What is planning? You cannot just wake up and say, I want to write a code. No, you must have what the solution. The software programs are solutions. They are applications. They solve problems. They are intended to solve problems, people's problems, day-to-day problems. Now, when it now comes to your brain, like this is a problem I want to solve, you don't have to first plan on how to solve that problem. That will not bring you down to analysis. You analyze your problem. You analyze, you analyze the solution. That will now tell you probably during your analysis the front end language you use, the back end language you use, the database you are going to use. These guys now tell you the formulation of your scope. Now, you now move to design. The design is now what we now call pseudo code. Pseudo code. Where you now say, okay, well, this is what I want to do. I want to write an application to open the door. When you see a new face, ask the person, are you a new customer? If you say yes, I'm a new customer. Then ask him, input your name. When he input his name, if it is automated, now you can come in. 
when it's an already existing customer, I hear a customer already say yes, now allow you to come in. That is civil code. Now you now design your CD and you implement it. The implementation now comes. You now have a CD code. CD code can be written in English in any language, you by any language of your choice that you understand. Now when you now write your CD code, you now go back to implementation. Now when you want to implement, you implement with one of these guys and these guys. Like Python, Java, I don't know. I write in Python, I write in Golang. So you now go to one of these guys and pick the one that is comfortable for you. You understand? Now you implement, then you deploy. What do you mean by deployment? If you write an application, we have three types. There are applications, we have mobile application that is Android and iOS. We have web application and we have desktop application. Desktop application are those applications that markets in malls that are fixed on the computer. Probably, yes, desktop application that you don't need to log on to any website. It is fixed on the desktop. So when you now deploy, the deploy or if it is if it is a mobile application, then you deploy it to a server. If it is a web application, then you deploy it to a server. If it is a desktop application, then you deploy it to that desktop. And then now maintenance. This is the last thing. Every everything like even human being, you need maintenance. That is why we need food. So your application, you have to check. You have to check. You have to check. A routine check. You check. You check. So. Please, guys, this is just an introductory class. I think by next time, um, next class, we will go to the tributary of HTML. HTML um, is an acronym of Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is an acronym of Hypertext Markup Language. And we have Cascade Style Sheets. This, that is CSS. Then JavaScript is a programming language. Then the, program, the backend programming language we will try this course. We will use probably um, Python and a bit of um, Golang. So thank you very much, and please, if you find this video interesting, you can kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel. As as Guadavi is an organization that dwells into different areas of life. You understand? Software development, application development is just one of the services that we do. Thank you. And God bless you. Wow, interesting. We've come to the end of today's lecture, and I believe you grabbed that which is yours. But before we go on, please remember that subscribe button. It's very necessary. For you to get notified when we release more videos. Thank you.